what is your this person has no idea how the real world works moment. My cousin and I were talking one day and, and I mentioned that I had a horrible sense of direction. Where my brother could be dropped off in a cornfield and find his way home. She replied that it was easy to find your direction. Just remember never eat shredded wheat and you will know where north is. I laughed and said that was for remembering the directions in order. Not for finding which way was which. We argued for 20 minutes till I told her to show me how it works. She stands up and point forward and says never eat shredded wheat and points to the direction she was facing when she stood up. That's north. So I told her to face me and then find north. She does it again. Never eat shredded wheat and points at me and says that's north. So ask her if north just changed. She says no. But north was that way a minute ago. She looks confused and says why didn't that work. I told her it was because she was an idiot. Guy sold his rent a center TV and couldn't understand why they threatened to charge him for theft. My sister-in-law got in an argument with her brother slash my husband and me. Stopped speaking to us. Blocked us on Facebook. And then threatened to sue us for visitation rights to our 6 month old. Maybe I'm just game for a good fight. But I'd have been like do it. Just to see the local judge laugh his butt off. My brother wanted to be a game designer. I asked how that was going and what he had been doing. Mom had gone to Walmart to pick up some art supplies so he could get designing. He did not really know what coding was in terms of game design and did not know graphic design. He thought he could simply just draw up some swords and guns and shields and someone would pay him to do this for a living. With zero experience. He's almost 30. My little brother who was, and I fear still kinda is, adamant that he would grow up to be an actor all through high school without trying to pursue any acting related things. Quit drama club freshman year and never looked back. Didn't work towards getting into an acting program in college. Spent more time on his video games than acting. But I guess he was just banking on being discovered and put into roles due to handsomeness. It's hard enough to make that dream work for people who are actually trying. I had a classmate who prayed God would find him a role without him auditioning for anything. I pointed out that if he wanted something he had to work for it and put his name out there. He was not pleased. There was this girl at uni. Everybody was in or whenever she talked. She didn't believe in taxes and earthquakes. Also, studying to be a social worker she said, I don't like working with retards because I can't stop laughing at them. A real angel. How do you not believe in earthquakes? Live in a part of the world where there are none. In my life I've experienced maybe 5. And I know people who live further away from fault lines than I. I have never been in one. M33. I worked on a group project with these two girls in high school. We had met up at a library over the weekend. And when I pulled into the parking lot one of them said something about my car. I said yeah. I love this car but someone keyed it in a parking lot all down the passenger side. Look how deep it is. I told her I couldn't fix it beyond some touch up paint either because that would require sanding it down and all that. She looked me dead in the eye with a look like I was crazy and said well why don't you go buy some elbow grease. I hear that fixes everything. Dead serious. Girl had heard about just give it some elbow grease and got it into her head that this was a product you could buy to fix just about anything. She did not contribute much to our group project. I was in the army with someone who wanted to know when the maids came to do laundry and basic training. I was in the air force. We didn't have maids in basic. But we turned in our laundry once a week. Our uniforms came back cleaned and pressed. But we had to fold everything else. We also had to make sure to get all the dry cleaning tags off our uniforms or the tees would get pissed. I was in the army. During basic we did our own laundry we had the option to have our uniforms cleaned slash pressed once a week. But we had to pay for it. Roughly 50% of the time the uniforms would come back with stains or broken zippers. You know. I can't remember if we had to pay for it or not. But the work was always on point. Damage of any kind was rare. But it was reported and fixed immediately. They lived with a dark bedroom for 7 days waiting for the real estate of their rental property to come and change the light bulb. 
had a woman call into work, banking, and ask for her mortgage payoff. It was like 40,000 ish. She said there was no way that was right because her payment book only had 3 more coupons in it and she thought it was done when the coupons were. She couldn't comprehend that she had a 30 year mortgage and that she didn't get a coupon book for all 30 years. She only got 3 years at a time and because she had an adjustable rate, I had to call backups to explain to her that she still owed 27 more years. Edit to at, location, rural pa probably a tiny home that needs work. 40k is possible in this area still. Coupon books tell you when your payment is due and what amount if you don't bank online or want to mail a payment in. Amish and old folks still don't use internet here as a norm. 40. 000 for 27 more years. Sweet Jesus that's nothing. Roughly dollar sign 150 dash 175 month. I'd cry tears of joy. One time I made the mistake of trying to do laundry in my dorm's laundry room during parents weekend. I walked in to see rows of haggard looking mothers with massive bags of their children's clothes. Laundry is free at our school. And the machines are ridiculously simple to use. Was good friends with this girl in college. I knew she was spoiled. Free reign of daddy's credit card. But it was never a big deal. After college she couldn't grasp why I couldn't spend the next 6 to 12 months backpacking through Europe with her, which she wanted to do because she didn't feel like getting a job yet. The idea that I had to get a job to support myself and start paying back student loans was completely foreign to her. Her answer to everything was, have your parents pay for it. Sorry honey, that is not how the real world works. An old friend, whose Coca-Cola family told my ex bf who was dirt poor oh don't worry everyone has a trust fund some parents just don't tell you so you don't rely on it this was in high school met a guy at uni who thought chinese people would be unaffected by the rise of superbugs because they were too smart to fall victim to it both a pharmacy student and a chinese person could not convince him otherwise that's an odd reason like they were too smart and they would implement policies treatments or something did he just straight up think that because of intelligence the bugs wouldn't affect them yeah you need con to boost those fort saves maybe asians have a racial feature that gives them into fort saves i encounter at least one per day this morning was about mortgages this woman was talking about moving to fl soon and putting her house on the market i'm a first time home buyer in my 20s interested in buying something modest she nonchalantly says that they'll probably ask for about 300k just to break even and move. I said yeah that's way out of my price range, which is more like 180k. She is very confused and says that if I don't have a bunch of bills that should be very affordable for me. I ask her how much she thinks that monthly payment would be and she says maybe 2k. I say yeah, at least, plus home me are winners insurance, car insurance. Car payment, gas, healthcare, phone bill, water bill, electric bill, internet bill, groceries, 401k, etc. On single income, I'm lucky to have a job with good benefits, and I'm aware of that, but I'm far from making six figures. The fact is, this woman works as a cafeteria cashier and married into money, and she's absolutely clueless about budgeting, even in her 50s. It doesn't help that banks seem to use some kind of magic mortgage math that must come from an alternate reality. I remember looking at houses and working with the bank to get pre-qualified for a mortgage. My partner and I had a really good sense of what we could afford to spend. Based on what we were already spending, realistically, we knew we could handle around $100k of mortgage. The loan officer kept running numbers and insisted that we could afford to borrow dollar sign 300k. To this day I don't know if they weren't just trying to get us into a loan that we were sure to default on. Someone at work asked if she needed to pay to use the microwave. She decided it was too complicated to use and bought a $150 thermal lunch box so she can take food that was cooked by her hired chef to work without needing to reheat it edit to answer some common questions she's a 30 year old heiress working her first job trying to be independent 
Her parents are covering all her expenses. I wouldn't let anyone who doesn't know how to use a microwave out in public unsupervised. See what you should have done with her first question was say yes. It's $200 for the year. I'll take it for you. Oh and I'll show you how to use it. Since you've paid. Apostrophe. My parents had some paranoia about radiation. So I was used to stove a top slash toaster oven for a heating food. I definitely had to ask friends how long to put things in for when I first started living in places with microwaves. This was also when I was still on my parents phone plan and did not have a smartphone. Nowadays. I'll just google microwave times for soup. Close bracket. I had a similar experience growing up. My parents didn't get a microwave until I was in late high school. Or maybe a little after. Though it wasn't even a radiation thing. They just liked the toaster oven I guess. I have a microwave. But I use the toaster or oven to heat things up most of the time. I think the food tastes better when heated in traditional methods. The texture of the microwave heated food is often met. My ex-wife's roof on her house was damaged from a storm. The roofing company wanted $1,700 up front to fix it. The insurance company sent her a check for $700. They would send a check for the rest when the job was complete. They sent her that little because she chose a $1,000 dollar deductible. In anger she sent the check back. Several years later out of curiosity I looked up her name on that website that shows if you have outstanding payments coming to you and she does. I thought about contacting her and letting her know but meh. She doesn't understand the deductible. 700 bucks is 700 bucks. Sounds like the insurance company was all good with the claim. Two. As someone that works in claims this is extremely common. As a manager I probably dealt with 2-3 to three complained calls per week over deductibles. Former barista here. A customer came through drive through one afternoon. Ordering a custom drink that cost about $5. While on the phone. He dug change out of the corners of his van. And handed me what amounted to less than $3. I continued looking at him with my hand extended. Half full of dirty coins. When he just shrugged and said. That's all I got. I repeated the total and said he hadn't given me enough. Can't you just spot me with your tips? Um. Excuse me? First. No. That's literally my grocery money. And second. Our company had a strict policy against doing just that. But I simply apologized and said no. I couldn't do that. He blew up at me. Saying I wasn't being very neighborly. I again apologized and explained how I relied on my tip money to, you know, eat. Instead he screamed at me again. You suck. You really suck. Before driving away. Side note. It was a small town and most people there don't know how the real world works. I gave him the money back. It was gross. I used to work in retail and once had a guy ask for a discount. I said no. He said I could just short the till by like 3 bucks and no one would care. He wanted me. A stranger. To steal from the company and risk my job. Because he was a cheap skate and didn't want to pay the lousy $20 for the item he was buying. He ended up paying full price anyway. My ex-girlfriend was really guilty of this. We dated all through college and didn't really understand the extent of which taxes are taken out of a paycheck. She also had an expectation that everyone also made 70, 80k coming out of college. So with this reasoning she expected to live a lavish lifestyle as soon as she finished her degree. There's a reason she's my ex. A friend of mine saw a guy getting arrested in college kid was struggling and cussing out the cops like crazy. Do you know who my father is? A cop humored him and asked. He owns the number one used car dealership in upstate New York. We were in Massachusetts. They were unimpressed by his legacy and took him in. Edit I do not know any used car dealers in upstate New York and this was 1995. If there's one way to impress people from MA it's by telling them you are from New York. I assume he was actually trying to play the my dad is rich card more than the I'm a big deal in upstate New York card. I assume alcohol was involved. So poor messaging. Oops.